everybody. We are back here at the Disneyana Fan Club Expo for another round. We had such a great time last time. We've gone to the show for many years, but it really kind of reinvented itself uh, very recently and just kind of, I don't know, it seemed like I have a big boost of energy, excitement, cosplay, all sorts of fun stuff. So that said, we're going to take you around, give you a little bit of feel for the shows. This time around, it's been free admission. So they've got sponsors working with them. They've got some incredible giveaways that they're doing as part of their costume contest, their raffles, things like that. So uh, just a very different type of show in terms of like the energy in 2023 here. We've absolutely loved it. So we're back here. It's super tired during this Halloween season. Out late every night doing stuff, but we had to get up early because we would not want to miss this show before we get on to the rest of the Halloween stuff later on today. So, let's look around. Yeah. New for this show, this time around, we've got some incredible pieces of Disney history on display here. Original attraction posters. And then this right here, this is Main Street. Look, right, this actually was in the Emporium window on Main Street at Disneyland on opening day of the Main Street Electrical Parade. It's awesome too, they're not like roped off, so a lot of people have been taking photo ops here. It's fun to be able to get so close to history. Pieces on display here. I mean, it looks like it's brand new. It's crazy to think coming from Main Street to here at the Fan Club Expo. here as you can see big room definitely expanded again from what we were seeing in 2022 and before so excited to see found a lot of great deals fun stuff in this room so let's see what we find this time And in the room here, I mean, these things are for sale. So these ones aren't just pieces of history to take photos with, as awesome as those are. These are original pieces that you can buy. Hour. They actually have droid races where you can jump in and race one of the droids yourself in a competition with actual prizes. Mode is here and they have quite the line here for pins. They're one of the more popular spots on the floor today. Some awesome stuff. I mean, this is like multi page booklet here, like we're at the uh, D23 Expo or something. 
all sorts of fun stuff here. All right, as we get to the end here, let's show you what we picked up. So first thing, super cute very good people there. Marcy Mouse made this for us, which was awesome inviting us out. So we really appreciate that. A couple things. The media check-in sign from Winter Dreams. This is a Disney, obviously official, media sign. They were selling it here. It was $50. We actually covered this back in the day for Inside the Magic. It was the first Disney uh, media thing we went to. So it has a lot of sentimental attachment. And I'm always a sucker for anything that's a theme park use. So if you follow our stuff, you know that's uh, like a huge part of collection is just anything that's a theme park use itself. And then you can hear him coming out of his bag. Figment. 1982 Epcot. As we still call it Epcot Center for us old school people. Tags attached there. It was $30. There was no way. I mean, I'm wearing a Sunny Eclipse shirt. There's no way an Epcot fan like myself is going to pass this guy up. I can't believe I already didn't have him. Love it, love it, love it. What a great time at the show. I mean, the show, we talked about it the last one, about how much it had expanded. And not just expanded in size and scope, but just in energy, activities, all of those things. You can tell, like, people are excited in there. Like, you can hear as you're walking up and down the rows, like, people are loving it. Heard a lot of first-time attendees talking about it, having a great time. I'm very curious to see what happens to the show in the future because it's, like, it, the opportunities are endless there. Like, if you told me that this show in three years was going to be at the Anaheim Convention Center and they were going to have, you know, filling up one of the big halls there, I would totally believe it because there's so much potential there. There's so much excitement. And we know there's huge demand in all things Disney. So great job by everybody involved here. Fantastic show. Had a blast. Cannot wait for the next one. We'll definitely have it on parksandcons.com calendar for countdown. We'll have it on the podcast. We're going to talk more about the show on our podcast as well. So you can find us wherever you can find podcasts. We have a lot of podcasts in the can right now as this is our busiest season of the year. So may take a couple uh, days slash weeks to get to it in the rotation, but it will be coming up there. So wrapping up here for the Disney Fan Club Expo fall version. Until next time, we'll see you in line somewhere.